The Gradle build system allows you to generate multiple versions of an application based on a common code base. It does this with the concept of flavor dimensions. A flavor dimension is a particular way to define different versions of the app, and within a flavor dimension, you can define multiple product flavors. Let's take a scenario where you want to distribute an app through both the Google Play Store and through Amazon, and you want to support in-app purchasing. The SDKs for that feature are completely different on the two platforms. Most of your application might be the same for both platforms, but when you get to in-app purchasing, you need to run different code. So you would define a flavor dimension for the App Store and then product flavors for Google and for Amazon. You can do this in code directly in your build.gradle file, but Android Studio makes it really easy to do through dialogues, specifically through the Project Structure dialog. In the Project Structure dialog, choose the Build Variants category, make sure you've selected your app module, and then the Flavors tab. Click Plus, and then add a new flavor dimension. This string can be anything you like. I'm going to be calling it app underscore store because that's how I'm defining the dimensions. Next, with that new dimension selected, click plus, then add a product flavor. I'll set one as Google, and then I'll add another one, and I'll call this one Amazon. Now, there are a bunch of different ways to distinguish the two versions. You can set a different version name, version code, and so on for the other flavor. And there are also ways to have different bits of code. But all I'm going to do right now is just change the application ID. For the application ID for Amazon, I'll set it as .amazon. I'll click OK. And then let's look at the code that was generated. Here's my flavor dimensions definition, and then my multiple product flavors, and within the Amazon flavor, I've changed the application ID. And that means I'm going to append .amazon to my base application ID. Now I can look at the Build Variants tab. And I'll see that for the app module, I can choose between four different releases, Amazon Debug and Release and Google Debug and Release. If I select one of the Amazon variants, my application ID will be com.example.myapplication.amazon. But if I choose one of the Google variants, then it'll be just the base application ID. Similarly, when I want to create my signed APK, I can now choose what APKs I want to generate. And so if I'm getting ready for a product release, I might choose Amazon and Google release. And then when I click Finish, I'll generate two APKs. And they'll be placed in directories for each of the two product flavors. Build variants allow you to generate multiple versions of an application based on the same common code base, but with differences that are defined in your Gradle file. And Android Studio makes it easy to set this up.